we were really pleased to hear that uh, and your news report because it just sort of highlighted that this is happening. Sue Carey and Larry Borisik saw our report on a farm that no one has heard of using a main address to get a $1.2 million loan from the Small Business Administration. Sue says she was the target of fraud too. This is a notice that she got in September from the SBA. And it says that the name of the company is Agriculture LLC, with agriculture spelled wrong. For a disaster loan that she didn't apply for. It used her name, date of birth, and social security number for $135,700. I don't know who got $135,700. Wow. Somebody. She called the SBA back in September. You know, they said, well, you don't know anything yet. That won't be until next August. And I said, no, I don't owe anything. That, I, I don't owe anything. This was fraudulent. How do I prove it? Well, we'll investigate it. Mm, okay. The state's Bureau of Consumer Credit Protection says that three other Mainers have come to them after SBA disaster loan statements for thousands of dollars. Superintendent Will Lund says so far, their agency has worked to get a letter from the SBA for one of those cases. Indicating they were working on a way to uh, develop uh, a letter or document that would demonstrate that the main resident was not obligated on the loan. If you see a check on your credit score from the SBA's Office of Disaster Assistance, or ODA, that you did not apply for, it could be a sign of fraud. Superintendent Lund recommends calling the SBA to report any fraud, save the confirmation or dispute number you get, and then give a call to their office. They can help you freeze your credit reports with the three major agencies here in the U.S. Sue now has information for Lund's office, and she told me when she was looking for more info on this supposed business, Ag or Culture. It gave some Pittsburgh um address, which was right next door to the police department in Pittsburgh. So <laughs> somehow I think somebody was having fun with it. Reporting for WMTW News 8, I'm Mary-Kate Mannion.